Parker, the world leader in fluid connectors and tube fittings, presents the Parker Hyperset. The name stands for Hydraulic Ferrolock Ferro Presetting Tool, a big name for a device that's so light and portable. Efficient and easy to use, your Hyperset is designed for steel, stainless steel, and Monel tube. It presets ferrolock fittings ranging from a quarter inch through two inches, and EO and EO2 fittings ranging from six through 28 millimeters. And there's minimal setup required. This video guide takes you through the various preparation, operation, and maintenance steps, including assembly, tube end preparation, presetting EO and EO2 fittings, presetting ferrolock fittings, maintenance, and troubleshooting. Your Hyfer set comes pre-assembled, so setup consists of connecting the machine to the hydraulic hose and pump. First, install the pipe thread adapter into the port on the rear of the Hyfer set. Then install the swivel T onto the straight adapter. Now install the conversion adapter onto the pressure gauge. Then connect the conversion adapter to the swivel T fitting. Then connect the 3 8 inch NPT end of the hose to the hydraulic pump. Connect the swivel T adapter to the swivel T. Connect the swivel end of that hose to the swivel T adapter. Finally, pressurize the hydraulic power unit. Check for oil leaks. The next step is proper tube end preparation. Tube end preparation is one of the most important steps for ensuring an optimum leak-free seal for any brazed, flanged, flared, or preset connection. No matter what the tube material, there are three key preparation guidelines. Cutting, deburring, cleaning. To assure the correct tube to fitting connection, you must cut your tube end squarely within one degree. Failure to do so causes tubes to rest improperly in a braised sleeve and fitting body, and flanges or flares that aren't circular. Whether you're cutting a tube end for brazing, flanging, flaring, or presetting, Always use a toothed blade saw like a hacksaw or low-speed circular saw. Other methods like tube cutters or abrasive saws can cause the tube end to harden, making it difficult to flare or preset the tube. After cutting the tube end, you must deburr the inside and outside diameters. This makes sure the tube fits properly and without imperfections that can cause leaks. Always use a Parker Inex or Power Deburr tool. Finally, because cutting and deburring can both leave debris, always clean the tube end thoroughly with compressed air or a cloth. Debris can cause system contamination or become an imperfection in the flange or flare. Once you've properly cut, deburred, and cleaned the tube end, you're ready to begin further processing. Now we'll cover procedures for presetting EO and EO2 fittings. Proper part selection, installation, lubrication, and operation are all part of the procedure. Your first step is selecting the proper parts for the preset job, including the nut support and body die. Refer to the chart in your Operation Bulletin 4393B1 to select the nut support that matches the tube outside diameter and the body die that matches the tube outside diameter and the fitting series. You'll also need to know the presetting pressure appropriate for the tube size, material, and fitting series. You'll find this in Parker Tube Fittings Catalog 4300. Once you've chosen the correct parts and pressure, insert the nut support in the backup plate opening. Do this from the inside so the shoulder seats squarely in the counter bore. The spring-loaded ball plunger secures the nut support properly. Next, you install the fitting nut and ferrule onto the tube. For EO2 fittings, 
The functional nut assembly is installed on the tube with the assembly's threaded end facing the tube end. For EO fittings, the nut goes onto the tube with the threaded end facing the tube end. The ferrule's straight pilot section, or bite edge, faces the tube end. For EO fittings, you also need to lubricate the outside surface of the ferrule with a high-pressure lubricant like STP. You'll also lubricate the inside surface of the body die. For both EO and EO2 fittings, installing the body die is next. Place the die over the tube end until the tube bottoms out in the die. Push the nut and ferrule, or the functional nut, toward the body die until the die enters the nut bore. Now place the die, ferrule, nut, and tube assembly into the hyper set opening, with the tube resting in the slot of the nut support. Push the tube into the device until the die rests squarely against the ram. Now use the hydraulic pump to pressurize the ram. When the pressure gauge reading reaches the proper presetting pressure, stop the pump. Release the hydraulic pressure so the ram retracts. Finally, remove the tube and inspect the preset. For proper inspection procedures, refer to the EO and EO2 technical section of Catalog 4300. Now we'll cover the procedure for presetting ferrolock fittings. And similar to EO and EO2 presets, proper part selection, installation, lubrication, and operation are all part of the procedure. Again, you need to refer to the chart in Operation Bulletin 4393-B1. For ferrolock presets, however, the nut support and body die both relate only to the tube outside diameter. Once you've chosen the correct parts, Insert the nut support from inside the backup plate so the shoulder seats squarely in the counter bore. The spring-loaded ball plunger will secure the nut support. Next, place the fitting nut and ferrule onto the tube with the nut's threaded end and the ferrule's bite edge both facing the tube end. Then lubricate the outside surface of the ferrule with a high-pressure lubricant like STP. Also lubricate the inside surface of the body die. Install the body die over the tube end until the tube bottoms out in the die. Push the nut and ferrule toward the die until it enters the nut bore. Now place the whole assembly into the hyper set opening, with the tube resting in the nut support slot. Push the tube in until the body die rests squarely against the ram. Now, use the hydraulic pump to pressurize the ram. When the gap between the end of the nut and body die is fully closed, the preset is complete. Stop the pump, then release the hydraulic pressure so the ram retracts. Finally, remove the tube and inspect the preset. For proper inspection procedures, refer to the Ferrolock technical section of Catalog 4300. Now that we've covered assembly and presetting procedures for EO, EO2, and Ferrolock fittings, here are a few tips on maintaining and troubleshooting your Parker Hyfer set. Keep all the Hyfer set's moving parts free from dirt and grit. Handle all tooling carefully to avoid damaging the smooth surfaces. Nicks, burrs, dirt, or chips can mar the sealing surfaces of the connection and tube. And finally, make sure to lubricate properly when presetting EO or Ferrolock fittings. Now, for a few general troubleshooting tips. If the cylinder won't extend, it may be due to the hydraulic fluid supply. Make sure the machine is properly connected to the hydraulic pump. Check the fitting and hose connections for leaks. And make sure the valve on the pump is set to the correct position. If the cylinder will not retract, the hydraulic supply may be energized. Release the hydraulic pressure from the pump. Or the wrong tooling may be installed. So check that the part numbers and installation procedure all match the size of the tube you're presetting. If during the preset procedure you're getting poor ferrule bite, you may have the incorrect presetting pressure. 
verify that the pressure is correct for the tube diameter, wall thickness, and fitting type. You may not have enough lubrication when you preset EO and Ferrolock fittings. Make sure you lubricate the outside diameter of the ferrule and the inside of the body die, and use a high pressure lubricant like STP. Finally, you may have the wrong tooling installed. Check the chart to verify the proper parts and installation. Lightweight, portable, easy to operate. The perfect hydraulic tool for fast, accurate presets. If you have additional questions, please refer to your owner's manual. Thanks for watching this video.